Blake Shelton finally addresses Adam Levine and other friends not getting invited to wedding with Gwen Stefani. Many fans rejoiced upon hearing that Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani had finally tied a knot. Despite the famous couple celebrating their big moment with family and friends, fans couldn't help but notice there were certain people who weren't involved, and Shelton and Stefani's circle of friends noticed as well. The voice coach has been hearing from some of those uninvited guests in the aftermath, and Shelton finally addressed why his former co-coach and friendly rival Adam Levine and others weren't invited to his and Stefani's wedding. Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani's relatively sudden wedding threw many people for a loop, and that includes some of their close friends. While the voice host Carson Daly officiated the couple's ceremony, there were some obvious omissions in the seats, and after already having to hear an earful about it, Shelton coach told Sirius XM's The Highway about his friend's postnuptial comments. I've had awkward conversations with so many of my friends since. Oh, oh, yeah. I read y'all. Yeah, I read about that. How was that? Listen, we kept it small, get over it. That's not about you. There's a lot of them. Blake Shelton's perspective on the whole situation was on brand. The country superstar has never really been about catering to Hollywood or to anyone but his fanbase and his love lady. Given the current COVID restrictions and other issues, Shelton and Gwen Stefani had every right to be selective about who did or didn't attend their special ceremony, especially considering they had to wait as long as they did to have it. A wedding is about the central couple and their core loved ones, not who is or isn't in attendance, or how many of those loved ones were invited. That seemed to be music star's philosophy behind it all, they didn't want a huge affair with the potential for consequences. And by consequences, we of course mean Adam Levine falling into the wedding cake. But Adam Levine wasn't the only voice coach that didn't make the list of invites, though it did seem like kind of a big deal once fans found out that the Maroon 5 frontman wasn't one of the guests. It was all the more surprising only after Adam Levine reunited with Blake Shelton for The Voice's season 20 finale. In addition to Levine, though, other voice coaches such as Kelly Clarkson, Christina Aguilera and Nick Jonas also weren't invited to the small ceremony. The previously mentioned Carson Daly was the only voice associate to make the cut. But honestly, Levine not being invited to the nuptials wasn't too surprising. Long before Shelton and Stefani's wedding took place, Adam Levine has been known for trash-talking the country superstar. Of course, Levine and Blake Shelton's banter was for years a love-it-or-hate-it element on The Voice, so it's obviously, mostly, in good fun, since Levine also offered to sing at the couple's wedding. And presumably not as a way to ruin things, but even if Shelton decided to be a little petty and not include the former voice coach in his ceremony, at least it still looks like COVID safety and a focus on intimacy were the real culprits. Hopefully, once the pandemic has subsided even further, Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani will be able to invite their fellow coaches for another celebration of some kind. But fans won't have to wait to see his fellow coach's reaction to his marriage when The Voice season 21 premieres September 20th on NBC. Gwen Stefani Blake Shelton turning to Nicole Kidman for surrogacy advice, praying for a baby girl. Are Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton turning to a surrogate on the advice of Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban? One report says the two couples are commiserating about family planning. Where do babies come from? According to the National Enquirer, Stefani and Shelton want a baby, and they're looking to friends Kidman and Urban for surrogacy advice. A friend says, Gwen has talked at length with Nicole, who has been through the process. Stefani's apparently been so impressed by Shelton's relationship with her three boys that she wants to have a child of their very own together. An insider explains, Gwen had her youngest, Apollo when she was 44, and she figured that was the end of her baby-making years. But she fell in love with Blake not long after, and his affection has made her change her mind. The couple has reportedly also met with doctors to discuss options. A source concludes, Blake's already bonded with her boys and is praying they will end up with a girl. Gwen Stefani asking Nicole Kidman for advice? The tabloid uses a photo of Shelton, Stefani, Kidman, and Urban to sell that the couples are close. 
The tabloid doesn't mention that this is literally the only photo of the two couples together. Keith Urban is a coach on The Voice Australia, but that's a world away from Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton's stomping ground. Urban and Shelton will co-headline the bash on the bay, and that will be the first time the two are on a bill together. It seems like the Inquirer was pressed to think of a couple that sought out surrogacy and Kidman and Urban were the first to spring to mind. Shelton and Stefani have not addressed if they want more kids, so we're a bit dubious about this whole premise. Gossip Cop has already debunked loads of stories about a Stefani pregnancy. This is just a minor spin on that tired narrative. We've heard a lot of Gwen Stefani rumors. We see surrogacy stories all the time, as they're an easy way for tabloids to promote pregnancy stories for women over 50. This tabloid is changing its tune remarkably quickly however, since it claims Stefani had a baby bump as recently as December. She's not pregnant and she and Shelton did not have a shotgun wedding. The bogus stories don't end there, Shelton and Stefani were supposedly bickering over the wedding, yet it went off without a hitch. The tabloid also said Stefani and Shelton had secretly gotten married, yet their actual wedding was still yet to come. This outlet is pathologically wrong when it comes to stories about Shelton and Stefani, so you can disregard this surrogacy story. or hated element on The Voice, so it's obviously, mostly, in good fun, since Levine also offered to sing at the couple's wedding. And presumably not as a way to ruin things, but even if Shelton decided to be a little petty and not include the former voice coach in his ceremony, at least it still looks like Covid safety and a focus on intimacy were the real